Welcome back to Space of Grace Today, your sister in the challenges, possibilities, and victories on this journey called life. Our hope is that you will find wholesome morsels that will whet your appetite and leave you thirsting for more of God. Embracing the journey. Dare to believe. Friends, it has been a wonderful past few days traveling on the road with you. Each step on our journey gifted us with valuable takeaway elements. Let's take a look. One, willingness to change, admitting the need for God's help. Two, listening for the messages in periods of silence. Three, surrendering to the work of the Holy Spirit in our lives. And four, appreciating the value of God's discipline. Today, we take another dive. Seeing the other side of our faith as we dare to believe. You have a passion inside to make a difference in the earth, right? Blazing a path, leaving a legacy for the next generation. The vision on the inside of you is ginormous. It is bigger than anything you could hope to accomplish in a million lifetimes. Mind blowing, I say. How is it even possible? The idea that God would choose to use me or you. Imagine walking in the place of your dreams, walking and living on that very level. Thinking about it is so overwhelming. God gives the preview of visions and dreams bigger than we could ever pay for. But once committed to the promise keeper, boom, dreams and visions explode with life. Zechariah chapter four, verse six. It reads, not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Joseph, though displaced by circumstances, rose to the ranks of a mighty deliverer to the generations. The magnitude of God's vision gave him access to resources, people, and places. The separation was essential to the survival of his dreams. Abraham, born into a culture of idolatry, Yet God chose to call him father of nations, generations in his loins, seed innumerable as the sand on the seashores. Both men had to leave the familiar as the dream killers would have snuffed out the fires of their dreams. Friends, when God chooses to use you and I, it doesn't matter if we had the conveniences of indoor plumbing or not. Doesn't matter if we had a high school diploma or a college degree. It doesn't matter if we had a child before marriage or if we had a past criminal record. I encourage you today to embrace your unique journey Never be ashamed of where you began. God has been preparing us all of our lives for this very moment. Dare to believe that he is able to deliver what he has promised. Dare to believe that he is able to bring to pass the vision and the big dreams that he has deposited on the inside of you. Today's Reflections 
1 Peter chapter 5, verse 10. It reads, After you have suffered for a little while, the God of all grace, who imparts his blessing and favor, who called you to his own eternal glory in Christ, will himself complete, confirm, strengthen, and establish you, making you what you ought to be. Oh my gosh, what powerful words of hope for the heart that may be questioning the process today. Dear precious one, will you dare to follow him to the place that he will show you? Your sister in the journey until next time saying, be encouraged. This is your inspiration on the way.